we're having a bit of trouble, there's so many fishes to watch, we don't know which one to, to record. Damn it, I'll try Clinton's strategy, both of them in the same corner. Oh, it's working! Very strong. So we'll chuck a carnival in there to get to <laughs> so we can get the upgrade done. Look, get him, get him, yes. Grab a great weapon just in case. Well, we'll grab it one more time. We don't want to lose more fish. Well, our extra strong, strong gun will him a lot quicker. Well, let's get some, some more fish. Ray, you have a lot of fish. Ray, you have a lot of fish now. That must be a big responsibility. I'm sure it is, you know. I really want to take care of the fishes and make sure we have a place to get them and keep them safe in the land because they have all sorts of big things. Sure looks like you're giving it your best try, but I don't think you're succeeding too well there, buddy. I think I might be wrong. You are doing very well. Great work, Raymond. We'll grab an extra upgrade and then we'll get to kill the enemy. Only one enemy this time. Oh, the confusion. So um, the diamonds we have been looking at uh, fall every 8 seconds from the fish and the coins every 5 seconds. So uh, we'll do some maths and figure out which one is the best. Two. to why when he's coming. Where is it you when you need him?
So, uh, so we've done the math, and the uh, diamonds are worth 200, and they drop every 8 seconds, and they're worth 200, compared to the fish who um, drop a gold coin once they're fully grown, and they're worth 35. Uh, but, so we're going to stick with farming, because they're much better value, and we're going to grab the egg piece to win the level. And what have we found? Sof, the seahorse. Sof gives you a hand in keeping your fish fed. Good bet we won't be using, I don't think, bonus round. Let's collect as many as we can. Oh, we've got to we get all the same colour in a row. Oh, I see. We want these bags. So this round we'll grab Stinky because he's helpful, we'll grab Nico because he's a good bonus, and Preggers, Prego. Okay, let's do this. We do have a new background, as Clint was pointing out. Thank you, Clint. Thank you for supporting me in my fish adventures. So, we must be required to have a certain amount of guppies before we can buy carnivals. Enemy approaching to prepare the defense. I need to feed my fish yesterday, pick up. I just had to talk to my expert Clinton, who is um, one of the best players of this in the world, I, um, I would say. Um, he said that when the aliens are attacking, you don't actually have to feed your fish. Grab the bit of food quality and extra food piece and then we'll grab the star potion, which we are definitely going to need in the future. Whoops, we dropped it too early. We needed the big fish. Awkward.
Oh, instead of doing everything the hard way, let's just quickly come to the level. It's only 7.50, nice cheap price. Then we'll see how much the star is. So an extra $15 than the uh, gold coin. It's probably not worth the $250 investment. And we'll move to the next level. What will we hatch this level? Clyde the Jellyfish. Clyde drifts slowly through your tank collecting any coins as it passes by. This is very good for our style of play. We will grab Clyde instead of Prego. So we have Stratcher, who is uh, my expert Quinton. I wasn't ready! So, um, I'm just killing the alien, I'm going to put you on the Quinton, and he is going to tell you what mighty Fracture does. Now, let's go. Please do this in the back. Who's the expert here? Just to let you know what Scratcher does. Now, Scratcher, you place them on the ground, and you have to make sure you have a big fish that is powered up with a star potion, which will be laying stars, which will feed the Scratcher. And the Scratcher should produce diamonds. That is how the special works. Thanks, Quick, keeping us informative as always. 